Repeat after me. Today, when I watch this show, I will learn, develop, and gain inspiration for the rest of my peers and most importantly, myself. Today, I will gain inspiration to leave every bit of it behind me for those who need it more than ever. Please, enjoy the show and gain inspiration. Thank you. What's up, people, and welcome to the 56th episode of Real Talk. <clears throat> Today's topic is going to be based on, man, I hate crowds. <clears throat> Before I continue, my throat's a little scratchy today, so just to tell you, my voice might cut in and out, sort of. Just want to let you know beforehand. But, <clears throat> besides the point, today we are going to be talking about, man, I hate crowds, okay? Now, I want to thank one YouTuber who I've been friends with for a few years now. His name is Tony Martin, the car enthusiast, video editor, and product reviewer called The Media Mart. And he runs that channel for, I would say, two to three years now. Very good YouTuber. I worked with him a, a time or two. Very good guy, too, by the way. You should check out The Media Mart on YouTube. But, Tony, to answer to your question... I like how you told me to try out this topic because, honestly, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. I hate crowds, too. They're bullshit. Every time you want to go to a fucking shopping mall, there's always so many people there trying to get in your way with shopping carts, bump into you, try and take the shit off the shelf before you can even get to it. You know, it's sickening, actually. Like, yesterday, there was a... There was, um... Oh, there was a, sh there was a sale at um, No Frills yesterday. Uh, no Frills is a grocery store in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, just in case if some people around the world don't know what No Frills is. But, I swear to God, people, yesterday, everything was $1 at No Frills. I swear to Christ, there was all $1. My mother-in-law goes there, everything is cleared. Nothing that you would want, like pop, peanut butter, um, meat pies, they were all cleaned out because everybody rushed <coughs> And bumped into everybody to take what was there. And you don't even have to go to the shopping mall to find out what the fuck goes on. You already know what goes on because you can see it. You already know what goes on because you've witnessed it in your life before. Okay? Now, I sort of didn't mention at first about the five W's. But we already went through what for the crowds in grocery stores and shopping malls. But now, let's go through the lineups. Now, the lineups are sort of similar to the crowds because... Of course, a big lineup can create a crowd, but difference is it doesn't just happen in shopping malls. It can also happen at fast food diners, uh, coffee shops. Like, didn't you guys ever notice that we have that that new uh, drive through lineups these days at Tim Hortons and McDonald's and stuff? Let me show you a picture of that. Let's see the picture of the new drive through See? That is the um, new drive-thru. Now, it looks sort of fancy when you look at it through a picture, right? But trying to drive in there is a real pain in the fucking ass. I mean, you have it like, going this way. Car, uh, one car will go here, the other car will go there, pretty much. So it's like, you're confused because which one should I go to? You're in the middle. That's the target. But one of these two you need to go into. Now, there's millions of cars behind you. And you're thinking, where the fuck do I go here? Where the hell do I go? <clears throat> if you've never even been there before, and they don't even give you a sign to tell you um, how the registration, how to do it. You know, that's the sad part. They never give you a restriction notice. That part pisses me off about the lineups. Now, the part that I hate the most about crowds is that chaos happens. You could be having a very good day, shopping for the holidays and all that stuff and then people can bump into you and people will race you for that product and then even if you are first <clears throat> they'll still deny and say that they were first they'll say well i was first well, fuck off 
Like, fuck, you were first. Like, Jesus Christ, I hate people like that. Okay? Now, we went through so far what and where. Now, let's go through when does it happen mostly. I mentioned it happens usually when there's sales going on at stores, popular stores like Walmart, Target, grocery stores, where things you would want to buy that are cheap and not regular price, which would be more interest and tax. But my point in the matter is this, is that usually it always happens around the holidays. Christmas is the worst for it, and Thanksgiving and Easter, oh my Christ, the worst. I mean, I remember last Easter, last year on Easter, I was going to the grocery store with my girlfriend, which she passed out actually on that day, which was sad. But the reason I remember is because she has anxiety. And I mean, these were, there was one lineup, okay? I swear to God, there's one lineup. This is the cash register. This is usually a regular lineup. The, the other aisle was over here. It was like that. I am not joking. This is the cash register, and to here was the aisle. This was a lineup like that. I was not, I'm not kidding around. It was the worst I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. I couldn't believe it. My head was freaking spinning as much as she was, but there she fainted. You know, it was ridiculous, actually. You know? But, I mean, the only thing that I can say is, is just get your shopping done beforehand, before the holidays. I can just say that to you for sure. Make sure it just doesn't go bad. Now, first, we went through what... When and where. Now we need to go through why does this shit happen. Now, if you want to know why there's so many crowds, it's because things are on sale. And things need to be bought at that time. Now, the reason why I mention sales so much is because it's true. Anytime there's a sale, people go for it. It's like a freaking, it's like a bull seeing red. Seeing a red flag, he runs for it. That's what it's like. If that bullshit is like that, right? And maturity people thinking... I'm getting that first because we live in a competitive world, right? We live in a competitive world, it's true, okay? <clears throat> and why is there so much chaos in the store from what happens? The reason why is because, and it's true, because people constantly are ignorant and they keep bumping into each other to get what they want to get. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand you're there for a purpose. But is it really a purpose to cause a fight with somebody all because of one stupid item that you can go to another store and buy? Are you that lazy that you can't even go to another store to buy it? Hell, Tony, you should get this on your Mad Tony rant. That'd be good. Mad Tony, I hate shopping. But <clears throat> the point in the matter is this. Is that it's all a why there. That's pretty much all the whys. Now, going through how. How can, this, how can you solve this problem? You can solve it by going in a... Come in, Ma. Sorry, Dad wants to know if you got any dishes. No, I don't. Okay, sorry, Dad. Um, but the point in the matter is this. Is how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem by going earlier in the morning, where you know people may not be awake yet, or go to a 24-hour grocery store or shopping mall, and get your things around the midnight areas. Because that's the only thing you can do if you don't want to run into chaos. That's the only thing I can think of that you can do. Right? Now, that's pretty much about all about crowds. So to tell all of you, again, I am going to say this with pride. If none of you do not like what I have to say, if none of you do not like how I present this video, then again, for the probably third or fourth time, get the fuck off this video and do not come back, okay? But to the people who love this video, to the people who love Austin Book Live and the network GPBES, please do not hesitate to watch, subscribe, share, and please comment and like, <clears throat> and most of all, gain inspiration. For yourself and leave a bit behind for somebody else who may need it okay now again thank you Tony Martin for suggesting this topic and please if you want some good car reviews if you want some good product reviews if you want some good mad rants that you're angry about also he's just like a real talk host himself please go to the media Mart for Tony Martin thank you have a good day. Take care. Ciao for now.
Quote of the day, let's all get along with one another so we can be dangerous together. Did Real Talk inspire you today? Well everybody, if it inspires you, and you have a problem that you have at home or anywhere at all that you need help dealing with, please everybody, do not have an issue with the please. If you want to call me directly to let me know your problem and I can give you some help with it, please give me a call at my number right here where it says 647-741-0621. Or if you rather email it to me because you rather do it by the technical social media way, please email me at gpbes, Austin Bullock at outlook.com, okay? Now, anytime you have a problem, please don't forget to email me or call me. Thank you guys. Have a great day, and see y'all next week for Real Talk. Bye.